Welcome back everyone to our gameplay series of Autonauts. And it looks like everything is moving along pretty good. Of course, we've got our forestry operations um, going quite well. And as far as I can tell, we've got plenty of resources. But of course, we could really use with uh, several more things here. We need another hole digger for sure. I think we're okay on planners. But it looks like the hole digger is having a hard time keeping up with how quickly this guy's chopping down all of our trees. Of course, our stonework is doing quite well. We're dropping off all of our stone here. And in fact, as you can see in the bottom right-hand corner, we are getting very close to having a full storage there. Uh, the stick storage, everything is going along well there. You can see our stick gatherer. Let's go ahead and wind this guy back up. Make sure he's good to go. Everybody's blinking green right now. That is perfect. Uh, let's see. Where do we want to go? It looks like everything is okay, so we're ready to move forward with more expansion, more automation. And today, what I really want to at least start working on is to automate the production of tools. And in order to do that, uh, we've got a couple of ways that we can do this. Step one is going to be to create some bots that... We'll grab the resources that we need that are right next door to them, create these, and that'll create a, a huge column of them that will mount up in the output area. Step two will be to take those out of the output area and we'll drop some storage over here somewhere to put those in. But that's sort of step two. Step one is we need to get busy creating uh, some bots. So we know we need a log, we need three planks, so let's just go ahead, oh, looks like we have officially completed our simple strip mining. We've mined 25 stones and it looks like also stored 25, so we're good to go there. Excellent. And we have got some new outfits. All right, I have no idea what to do with these outfits. I know where they go to put them on, but I just don't know how to get them to show up in inventory right now. All right, and what I was talking about here is if you click on your character, here's the spot for your outfit. I just don't know how to get uh, them from uh, from the inventory into that screen so we can actually add them and put them on. But we'll deal with that at some point in the future. Not really a huge deal because we spend most of our time not looking at our own character, but watching all of the automation that we've got going on. All right, so we're going to need uh, three. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and drop these off. There we go. We'll pick up another log. And I'm really starting to think that our guy here that's picking up the logs and taking them to storage really isn't needed right now. I mean, you can see we're full on storage. There's logs laying around everywhere. Uh, I could create more storage, but that really doesn't fix our problem. Uh, we just don't have enough consumption right now, or fast enough consumption. So we may put him to work doing other things, and then in the future we can always come back and add one later. All right, there we go. This is number one for our automation of tools. So we got him all charged up. So now what we're going to do is we're going to have him, we're going to whistle, click on him, uh, which reminds me of another thing I need to do. Uh, let's see, we need, I need to go back and rename, do a little house cleaning on some of my the names of the bots that I have forgotten to rename. So this guy is going to be... All right, this is the axe automated. And so what I need him to do first is come over, grab a stick, take it to his workplace, then grab a rock, drop it off at the workplace, and you can see automatically it's going to create something in the output. And this is where, as these start to mount up, they will simply grow in a column toward the sky. So that'll be a lot of fun. There you can see we must have had our tree chopper that needed a new axe. 
All right, so that's all we're going to have this guy do right now. You can see we only have three kilobytes of memory left, and that's not going to be enough to give him really anything else. Uh, and let's see. Right now, we'll go with forever. I'm going to start using until this question mark is full uh, later on, but for right now, I think forever will work. Because that'll get us up and running, that'll get some tools made, and we'll start with some impressive towers of tools. All right, now let's get back to work, and let's create. So what we're doing here is by automating these different processes, we are limiting the amount of work we have to do and limiting the type of work that we have to do. Once we get this process automated, even before we get to step two of this process, we're going to have it down to where all we need to do is make sure that there are sticks and stones in this uh, storage and we're good to go. All right, so let's go ahead and drop off these three. All right, so we need a pole. So we'll go ahead and make some poles here real quick. All right, let's go ahead and close this guy out. Looks like he's doing exactly what we need him to do. As you can see, our nice impressive column that is starting to work its way out. Uh, also looks like I've got some guys that need to be recharged, particularly over here with the stone mining. So we'll take care of those guys as well. All right, let's drop off the pole. And let's see, I don't really want to use these over here. Let's see, is there any more over here? There we go. There's one I can grab. There's another one. Yeah, I'd, I'd prefer to use these uh, since we're not working this area just yet. And that will help save for replanting. Oh, yeah, we got everybody that needs to be needs to be worked on. So we'll get them taken care of here momentarily. But first and foremost, we need to get this second guy up and running. Let's go ahead and whistle, get his attention. All right, so now what do I need you to do? I need you to pick up a stick. I need you to drop it off at your workstation, pick up a rock. Drop it off at your workstation. Let that create. And then get started building your column of tools for now, at least. All right, so we're going to have him. For now, he's going to be doing that forever. Let's go ahead and let him get started doing that. Uh, and we'll get over here and we'll start recharging some of these guys. All right, because it looks like... Two of the three forestry workers over here need some help. Can't wait until we can eliminate this step and no longer have to uh, be worried about who needs to be recharged and so on. All right, now we need one more bot in order to automate the creation of our tools. So we'll go ahead and get started on that one. I know there's another acorn over here, so we should be in good shape to take care of that. And then beyond that, we're going to have to uh, travel around a little bit and do a little searching to see if we can find some more. Now we've got our guy who is building quite the impressive tower here, I might add. So step two can't really come soon enough for us at this point. And of course, if you've forgotten what we talked about at the beginning of the video, step two is going to be to take this impressive tower and get it into some storage. All right, there we go. There's our final plank. Let's come and grab a pole. And then we'll head over here and grab a tree seed. Let's see. I see a few more sticks around, some rocks. There's a boulder we could always uh, chop into if we need it. All right, we are out of sticks, at least for the time being. Are there any more sticks over here? Uh, yes, there's a few more sticks for him to pick up. All right, so we're good for the, at least the foreseeable future anyway. All right, and <laughs> you see I'm loving this column. I'm going to have to stop this guy here in just a moment simply because he's doing too good of a job. All right, in fact, uh, let's 
Now, we're not quite to the point where we have to do that just yet. So let's go ahead and fire this guy up. And so what we're going to do is... All right, let's go get a couple of these guys and actually stop them. All right, let's go ahead and stop him. And here's our axe automated. We're going to stop him as well, because uh, I think we have a, an impressive enough tower of both of these to last us a little while. All right, so now let's come back to our guy. We're going to need another stick, and we just so happens that we have a guy bringing one right now. Hopefully nobody grabs it, and no. We got everybody turned off like we need to. So now, so MK10, let's go ahead and get you to come over. Grab a stick, drop it off. Grab a stone and drop it off. And there we have it. That's what I need you to do. And for right now, we're going to have you do it forever uh, because I don't have... I mean, we could have him do it so many times, but uh, in fact, that's not a terrible idea. But for right now, we'll just leave it at forever. All right, so MK10 is, what is he? He is pick automation. So we'll go ahead and take care of that. MK9 is, what is he? He is Spade Automation. Something along those lines will allow us to keep track of who these guys are a little bit. Uh, let's see, what is he doing? He is, oh, he's taking the stone over to storage. So he's the pickup guy. All right, so the stone carrier. And he doesn't have any stones to pick up. That's because our guy over here is in need of a charge. There we go. Now he'll get back to work. Let's see, who's next? Mark 5 is our stone miner. So we'll get him taken care of. And who is Mark 4? What is it that he is doing? Uh, he is... He is log storage, so who is... Oh, okay, it's talking about him right here. I thought it was actually referring to this guy over here. Never mind, we're good. All right, so right now he'll be log carrier. And then finally, uh, MK1, which I really thought that I had renamed him to tree top uh, chopper, but maybe maybe I forgot to save it after I did it. Maybe that's what it was. All right, so everybody has a name at this point, and that is a beautiful thing. So now we know exactly what these guys are doing. Uh, let's go ahead and do a little recharging. All right, so the good news right now, and the reason I'm not terribly worried about these huge columns uh, of resources and uh, tools in this case is because they'll be used over time and then whenever they're used I will start these guys back up and let the automation continue but right now we just simply don't have enough workers using enough tools to really have to worry about it in the short term but I definitely wanted to show you guys uh, one way of doing this so it'll be a little while before we'll probably need to get to step two at this point another thing we need to get uh, busy doing is we need to automate the creation of our planks and poles. But first, let's just take a quick glimpse around and make sure everybody has got something to do. The tree planter, you notice with the question mark, that's because he can't find anything. So we're actually going to help him out. These are actually outside of his area. And you notice as soon as we come over and deposit them in his area, he will look for a place to put them. So we're simply going to drop these over for him. All right, we have no sticks 
in storage right now. Are there any? Oh, and we have completed yet another milestone. I like it. Two in one video. I will take it. All right, so basic production of tools. We've made 10 axes, spades, and picks. Yes, we have. All right, what do we get for that? Oh, we've got some dungarees. Some more clothing that I don't know what to do with. All right, so what's next? Okay, it didn't give us anything as far as I can tell. No new toys to play with. Nope, doesn't look like it. All right, so let's come back in and let's see what we want to focus on at this point. So we've got lumber and robotics. So what do we need? Uh, let's see, we've made 10 robots. We've taught 10 robots. Oh, we need to bake some bot teams. Okay, that's no problem. We'll go ahead and pin this one, even though we'll be able to take care of that really quickly here. So here's what we've got. Right now we have just individual uh, bots in a list. None of them are grouped together. If we come back up to create a team at the very top, and we'll call this one Forestry 1, since we will eventually have uh, multiple of these. All right, so this is Forestry 1. Right now, nobody is in it. But since we have the names here, we know exactly who goes in here. So I'm just going to simply drag and drop these guys. So there's our first trio uh, in there. And in fact, uh, let's go ahead and drop the log carrier in there since he's part of that group as well. Then we're going to create, let's do stone one. And we're going to drop the stone miner and the stone carrier in there. And then we're going to do one final one, which is tools one. And so now tools one will be able to, uh, we'll do X automated, spade automated, and pick automation. All right, there we go. We completed that. So now we're all done there. What do we get for this? Oh, we get crude gear. That's exactly what we need. And I'll show you why here in just a moment. All right, so that is excellent. Our commemorative slabs are ever growing and I like it. I like it. So one of the things we can do here with uh, these different now, we, and we can also, let's just go ahead and collapse all of these. So now we're down to uh, poor stick dude is the only one without a group to belong to, but that's okay. That's okay. We will, we'll find a group for him uh, long term. All right, so these guys are all, let's see, all right, everybody shows up in red or their, their color, so this is more of an orange. Okay, I like it, that is very good. But one of the things we can do is whenever we click on, let's say we click on forestry, we can start or stop these guys all together instead of having to go bot by bot and take care of this. So we can also have them drop things, bring stuff to me, or we can get rid of the team altogether, which I don't estimate that we're going to be doing very often. Uh, so now I'm going to come back to tools. And yes, they have built some very impressive columns of tools. So I'm actually going to stop all of those guys at this point. Not that they could do anything without any sticks anyway. All right, so that's done. Uh, and now, let's see, where are you beeping at me for? All right, nothing under plans, which we know because we haven't pinned anything yet. So now with this lumber, what do we need to do? We've got our chopping blocks already built, logs stored, logs chopped. Oh, now we need to get some storage going for our planks and poles. All right, we'll get to that. But right now, I am, oops, wrong one. I'm really interested in looking at these blueprints now that we have these gears. So let's see, we're going to add a colonist seed and then fuel it with the food bar. I like it. And then a seed dispenser for our colonists that's going to require some crude gears. And then we've got our research station. Now the research station is going to run on 
uh, the love of our colonists. So that'll probably be the last thing that we build of these three. So let's go ahead and drop these down somewhere. I guess right here is as good a place as any. And we'll do the same thing right here as well. Uh, right now, I have no idea how these are going to work. So at this point, we're simply going to focus on trying to get them built. And then we'll take it from there whenever. All right, so we've got that picked up. We'll go ahead and start with the seed dispenser, uh, which is a very interesting term for this. We need four poles, and we've got a few poles already over here. How many do we have? Is it just two? Yeah, it looks like it. All right, so now we need to get busy creating some more. All right, let's come back over at this point as it has come to nighttime for us. All right, so we need a total of four, right? For each of these, yes. Go ahead and drop these off. And just so I can help this guy out, I feel sorry for him. So we're going to, oh, wait. I forgot to hit the button a second time to drop off this final plank. There we go. All right, there we go. Now this guy can go and do some work for the first time in quite a little bit of time. He's actually been able to work. All right, let's drop this off. That'll take care of those. Now we can make our final couple of poles that we need. And we'll drop those off. And now we just need some crude gears. Uh, and then the question becomes, how do we make crude gears? So we're going to come in and take a look at some blueprints. Uh, where are... Where is the crew gear? There it is. It is made... Oh, okay. It's made on one of the workbenches. Okay, you can see at the bottom of the screen as we mouse over uh, the different things. The crew gear, you need the bench, and then you need the standard stick and a rock. I like it. Now, of course, we're going to have to find a rock uh, as well as... A, excuse me, a stick to do that, but that's perfectly fine. Uh, let's go ahead and use one off the ground here since that's very easy to find. And we'll use one of our existing uh, work benches. Oh, and I just added to the problem. All right, let's spin our camera around a little bit here. I'm holding down shift and the middle mouse button and doing that. So right now we are going to make some gears as soon as I remember uh, where I, I saw another stick. There it is. So we just made another axe there for no good reason. All right, so it's not going to let me put that in. Yeah, it doesn't want me to put that in. Um, how about if... Nope, it's not going to let me do any of that. Wow. Okay, so let's just drop our stick off right there. All right, so now we need to come in and let's come back and I'm just going to put this one sort of up here out of the way oh you gotta love it so logs and sticks the good news is we got plenty of logs and eh, sticks I would really appreciate not having to spend quite as many sticks on this because we're running out in the the near vicinity anyway all right so we need to get one more log same thing with acorns. I, do, I really don't want to use these acorns for anything other than replanting trees. And as you can see, our, our work is definitely in front of us. All right, let's come down and grab a couple more sticks. The last two, I believe, that were in there. All right, there we go. All right, so we're good now. Let's go and let's find another stick real quick. Let's pick up two. 
three, and four. And we're going to go ahead and drop these right next to it. All right, there we go. Then we'll come and we'll get two rocks. And let's make our... All right, why don't you like that? Oh, it says the gear is made using a plank. That's what the problem was, boy. Okay, then. Well, that was quite odd because I could have sworn when we came in here and where was it? Right here. The crude gear. Oh, I see what happened now. And you guys probably saw this immediately, but I wasn't paying close enough attention to what it said at the bottom. It was still on the crude axe. I had not clicked on it yet. So welcome to Brian making easy mistakes 101. All right, so we just need a plank. That's all we needed. Just a very simple plank. So now, with our tail tucked firmly between our legs, we are going to grab a log and make some planks. Oh boy, you gotta love it. Got to love it. All right, for those of you who've been with me for a while, you guys know it is not uncommon at all for me to make mistakes on these things. All right, there's our two gears. Let's pick these things up. There's one and two, and sure enough, we jump up and down and through the magic of compression, we build. Now we have a colonist seed dispenser. Here is a pod of colonist seeds. I don't know what that means. So, so we're gonna have to figure that out. But unfortunately, we have run out of time today. So that'll do it for today. Thank you very much for joining me and stay tuned for more Autonauts.